Well, hell there. Hello. Hell there. <laughs> Welcome to uh, April 10th, 2022. Boy, this month seems to be progressing slowly like an inchworm. What? Day by day. I can't believe it's just the 10th. Is it just the 10th? Uh, I'm uh, feeling a little out of sorts again today. Uh, I think it's allergies. I slept with the windows open last night. I took my med. I was a little late taking my med. You okay? <laughs> He's feeling out of sorts too. Ah, this is my daily good life meditation. Uh, it's an exercise that I perform every morning just after waking up to remember what's important to me and uh, to see how I'm doing. I had a big um, kind of a blow to the uh, blow to the creed. <laughs> I like that. Yesterday. I ran across um, an idea in uh, this book, you know, The Life of Samuel Johnson, where Sam Johnson was talking about uh, the um, nature of happiness. And he comments, and he borrows from uh, Alexander Pope, the um, poet, who Pope says, Man never is but always to be blessed. Very simple. Nine, wo nine words saying something really heavy. Again, man never is, but always to be blessed. So we never are blessed. We always to be blessed. So blessing is always to be something to come. He goes on in the next uh, paragraph, uh, Johnson, to elaborate on that, suggesting that um, hope is perhaps the truest form of, ha of happiness that we can know, the anticipation of what's to come, uh, divorced from, removed from uh, the facts of circumstance. We, we can, in our, in our dreams, we can, we can imagine uh, circumstance that um, don't include all the baggage that normally happens along the way. You know, we get to something, you know, we get to imagine a beautiful day at the beach, you know, with a, with a picnic lunch and a, a great spot on the sand. And we don't think about the tra traffic to get there or the parking situation. Um, the water's going to be just fine. You know, the sun will be great, uh, not too warm. Um, the kids will behave, you know, the dog, will, the dog will be good. We don't think about the dog pooping. <laughs> Or running free on a leash and hassling other people. That's what the dream is. You know, it's a happy, it's a happy imagining. The reality is, in the course of that, which can be a good thing, in the course of that, um, uh, we, we encounter. We, it's hard to get out of the house because nobody's ready, uh, and then there's traffic on the way. Can't find a parking spot. We there's no good spot on the beach. We can't. There's not enough room for our umbrella. The, the lifeguard says the dogs have to be on a leash. Um, you know, the, the lunch, uh, the sandwiches got squished on the way, and there's flies. And the water's cold and full of seaweed, and uh, uh, the guys next door, next to, next to us on the beach, are two 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 parties down. They've got a, playing loud music we don't like. That's the reality, right? So to to be blessed always, to, to be a blessed never is, whatever he said, right? The blessing, the best blessing is what's to come. What's now is full of all this other stuff, full of life. Now is full of life. <laughs> now is full of real life, really. Johnson goes on to say also that uh, happiness, you know, the only time you really find happiness now, pardon me, <clears throat> is when you're drunk. Which sounds like a flippant thing to say, but I think he's right, you know. Also then, we can look at, we can remember circumstances happily, like 20 years after the fact, not even that long, just a few years or even short time after the fact, we remember that it, that it's better. Well, the longer the better, right? Or within reason, you know, ten years out, the kids are grown. 
we look back on that trip to the beach and it's that memory is scrubbed of all that, mostly scrubbed of all that uh, annoying stuff. And we just remember the, uh, the Kodachrome moments of, uh, of bliss. Oh, I like that. Photo albums would really capture that, right? <laughs> I told you my allergies. They got me. So I'm going to have to strike hope from my... Mm, strike it or change it? Maybe or maybe it's wrong. Strike it then. Strike hope from my principle of sin and damnation. What I meant by that when including hope was the hope that doesn't actually do anything, but I, I forgot about, you know, we're just wanting things to be different, but I, I forgot about the fact that hope can be a form of happiness. I didn't see it that way. Hmm. Anyway, yesterday was a good day, um, busy day, you know, chores in the morning, and then Yumiko and I went to uh, Irvine. We were summoned to Irvine by uh, a, a message that we had received a package from our, at our old place we lived which happened once. We did have one thing come after we left and we had to go pick it up. We got two more such things. Went to pick them up and it turns out it was for the new person who lives in there, the place that we live, which so we lugged it all up, tried to deliver it to the leasing office, but they weren't open. So we lugged it up to our old apartment, but they weren't moved in. So we left it at the door. I'll call the leasing office. I tried to call the leasing office yesterday, but they weren't open, like I said. I was hoping they would be open later. So I'll call the... Um, today. I'll let them know where they, those packages are. Anyway, and then after that, shopping, shopping, shopping. It was a busy day. I know what I'm tired. I'm just worn out. I, uh, I'm more and more the older I get. I don't want to be a part of all of that anymore. Oh, there was one more thing that happened yesterday. I had a flashback. Uh, I took the dogs for a walk. And on the way to the dog park where I took them, um, which is close by, I passed a, a house on the two blocks over. I don't think I've ever seen the family that lived there. But today there was, uh, yesterday there were cars parked all along the driveway, along the front. So I must have thought they must be having something together, something going on. And as I went around the corner, I could hear, you know, a party going on in the backyard. I thought, oh, they're having a party. And when I came back with the dogs, I ran across people who were just arriving. A man, probably, you know, 35, something between 35 and 40, and two women of the same age. One of them may have been his spouse, no kids. And I was taken all of a sudden flashback to memory of being a young father. And those years of socializing, of going to people's houses, of, you know, carrying the can of the bag, the box of beers to get there and open it up and put the beers in with the ice and the music and the socializing and the talking and the food and all of that. And it just wore me out just trying to imagine that. But I realized that uh, something I knew already that that's a season of life. There's a season for socializing. There's a season for, um, you know, young adults. No, they're not really young adults. Young families or families to be. You know, couples that have hooked, hooked, not hooked up, but matched up, and married up, starting to come together and spend time in one another's newly purchased homes to show off their setting above house to, 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 to begin to make that transition from couples, from singles to couples to families, that transition where they start to uh, become the hardworking, endeavoring parents who will do their part to raise the next generation. And I see that now for... Uh, the process that it is and the necessary step it is. Oh, and I'm so glad I'm through that. <laughs> no 
thank you. None of that again, please. Hmm. Back to that happiness thing. You know, to be blessed. Blessing is never is to be. Those are hard, that was hard work for me, going through that part of life. Largely because I didn't have my head on straight. All right, let's do the good life. I'm going to do the lightning round. I'm just wiped out this morning. Seven objectives. To be always ready to die. To make good and effective use of time. To develop and maintain good and sound life principles. To cultivate good emotional reactions. To perform good actions. To recognize true limits and true opportunities. And to do just one thing at a time, and to do that thing slowly. Now, 30 principles. The principle of war. The principle of reason. The homunculus. The anchor hold. The home of good and evil. Purpose. Atomic principle, principle of the pirate ride, nature, maturity, social principle, public speaking, temperance, the, ho the, ho um, uh, the horror show, that which must be born. Agency and the great indifference. No, no, no. Uh, boy, I feel like Don Rickles. <laughs> Hold on. The Feast of Oval, that's it. I was watching yesterday Don Rickles. There's a show that was done just before he died in February. A couple of episodes of Dinner with Don. Or celebrities would get together with Don Rickles in a restaurant, all staged. All the all the diners are all actors. And reminisce on the, their memories of his life, and he would talk about it. He's still a sharp guy. His last uh, episode was with uh, Martin Scorsese and Robert De Niro, and then he died shortly after that. I mean, like, within the same month. And you could see, we were watching Don Rickles on that show. You could see that he's just, you know... Still sharp head, but just so his body is so done. That's how I feel right now, you know. And I can definitely feel how my mind is not going to. Uh, I mean, this is just a momentary thing for me. I'm having a, a difficult morning because my biochemistry is screwed up from my uh, allergies. And, but if that was persistent or more severe, I could see how I, could, I would let down the reins of active control of my mind and just kind of become one of those old men that sits in the chair and stares out the window or uh, watches the uh, watches the empty view in an empty room Fortunately, I know I'll feel better later. Just have to. Uh, uh, you've caught me at my most vulnerable. Normally, this is the best part of the day. So I guess this isn't my most. You've caught me at a vulnerable moment. I need more coffee. Okay. After the feast, after the feast of Ophel comes. Uh, distraction. And then the agency and the great indifference. Then uh, the best seat in the house. And then the path of wildness. And then the risk of avoiding risk. Sin and damnation. Sans hope. Complete oblivion. The great life adventure. The season of philosophy. The bullseye aim. 
the uphill climb, arena and utility. Nothing is enough. And then finally, the season, or the principle of fun. Ooh, I did it. Oh, wiped out. So what am I going to do today? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to change out of this damn shirt. One, it's too tight. You, again, you know, impressions, not reality. And then today, uh, uh, you think Yumiko's going to sleep in? Emily probably, uh, Emily will sleep until noon. Something. I know she was up late last night. She was studying for uh, some exams. Um, I'll, feed, I'll get up, I'll feed the dog. Well, no, I'll read the Bible. I was wrong. I said yesterday that I was in Song of uh, Solomon. I moved on from there. I'm in Isaiah now. I think I'm on Isaiah 6 this morning. I think it was Isaiah 5 yesterday that I encountered that. I uh, encountered one of those blockbuster quotes in the Bible. What was it? I can't remember. I highlighted it in yellow, though. So I think I'm on Isaiah 6 today. But I'm going to read Isaiah 5 again because that blockbuster quote, I want to read it again and get the whole context for that one. So I'll do that, then I'll write my journal, and then I'll, um, I'll, I'll do the video, and then I'll write my journal. And then I will do the, I'll edit this. So I, as soon as I'm done with this, I start this uploading while I read the Bible. And then when I'm done with that, that the computer is fired up, then I'll sit down and put the title and the, pardon me, the thumbnail on the video. And then when that's done, then I'll do the journal. Then I'll go downstairs and feed the dogs. And I'll have a second cup of coffee in the process. And that'll be the day. I mean, that'll be the start of the day. And then after that, uh, I'll read. Yeah. Whew. What do I expect in terms of ambush today? Hmm. I'm not anticipating much to be ambushed. I think I'm going to have a good day. Take care. Be safe, but not too safe.